Hi everyone, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Mibble University. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll be teaching you how to play kites. After this video, you'll be ready to play the game. Stay tuned. Let's learn to play kites. Game by Kevin Hermano and published by Floodgate Games. If our video has been helpful to you, then please help us making more of these videos by liking the video, comments below, and subscribe. For now, let's learn to play. In kites, players are kite flyers, attempting to keep their six coloured kites, represented by these hourglasses, in the air. Players will play cards, allowing them to flip the hourglasses over, trying to keep the sand in the top. And if the players can play through all of the cards from the deck before any hourglass runs out of sand, then they'll win the game. To set up, get all of the sand into one end of each of the sand timers and then lay them down on the table. For your first game, remove the 12 challenge cards from the deck, which show the black icons in the top left and right corners. Shuffle the remaining cards, then deal 5 cards to each player in a 2 or 3 player game, 4 cards per player in a 4 player game, or 3 cards per player in a 5 or 6 player game. Make sure all players can reach the hourglasses and the draw deck, splitting it into two if necessary. Randomly choose a first player, flip the white sand timer upright, and you're playing. Kites is a game which is played both in real time and in turns, starting from the first player and going clockwise around the table. When it is your turn, you can wait for as long as you want, but to end your turn, you must play one card from your hand into a personal discard pile and resolve it. There are two types of cards, single kite and double kite. When you play a single kite card, you can either flip the white hourglass, or if it's still lying down, stand the matching hourglass up, or if it's currently upright, flip the matching hourglass over. If you play a card showing two kites, then you must flip both of those hourglasses. Again, either standing them up if they're lying down, or flipping them over if they're upright. You cannot touch the white hourglass using a double kite card. The player who plays the card must be the one to physically flip the hourglass. To end your turn, draw a new card from the draw deck and play immediately passes to the next player clockwise. The aim of the game is to work together to keep any hourglass from running out of sand at any point during the game. The hourglasses have different lengths, with the red one being the shortest and the purple one being the longest. There are also more cards for these low-end kites, making it easier to keep them going. If any hourglass runs out of sand at any point before the end of the game, then the players lose. To win the game, the players must collectively play all cards from their hands and draw decks. As soon as the last card has been drawn from the draw deck, the white hourglass is never allowed to be flipped again. From this point forward, it's a race to the finish, with players playing all the cards from their hands, trying to get them all out before any hourglasses, including the white, have drained. If the players succeed, they celebrate their shared victory. If not, the team counts up the total number of cards in their discard piles as a score, giving them a target to beat in the next game. Kites is a real-time cooperative game and communication is both key and encouraged. Players are allowed to discuss what cards are in their hand and who's going to try to do which flips of the hourglasses. If the players communicate well and keep their wits about them, they should be able to get through the whole deck and win the game. Once you've mastered the basic game, you can introduce the challenge cards. There are three different challenge cards, aeroplanes, cross lines, and storms. There are four copies of each, and you can shuffle as many or as few of these into the deck as you want, based on how much challenge you're seeking. You must play a challenge card on the turn after you draw it, and it will be the only card you play on that turn. However, you can wait as long as you want before you play it to get the hourglasses where you want. When you draw an aeroplane card, you're not allowed to tell the other players you've drawn it. Once you've played it, 
players are not allowed to speak or communicate until a full round has happened and you've covered the card with your next play. If you draw the crossed lines card, you're also not allowed to tell your teammates that you've drawn it. When you play it, it causes a moment of sudden chaos. Each player must hand one card to the left and one card to the right before anyone else can continue playing. Finally, when you draw a storm card, you do get to warn your teammates. Tell them a storm is coming. When you do play your storm card, you must flip over all six hourglasses, even the white hourglass if the end of the game has been triggered. And that's how to play kites. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you find this video useful, please help us by hitting the like button. Subscribe to us, you can hit the meeple in the corner to do that, and hit the bell icon so you'll know when we have new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. Comments, suggestions and feedback are all welcome in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time!